Josh, you are great at kind of teaching us things too, including interesting weather terms. Hey, yes, anytime I see this type of cloud formation, I've always got to grab a time lapse and I've always got to say it and write it out. Undulatus asparatus, just because it's fun to say. And it's those wave like clouds that you're seeing as they developed and raced overhead out towards the Newport area, all indicative of our latest storm system, which comes in the form of an atmospheric river. A live look now at a very dark Stoller family winery estates. 52 degrees is where we currently sit out at PDX as the cloud coverage is widespread. It will stay widespread through the rest of this evening as our temperatures start to slide back into the low 50s. After our daytime highs managed to get up into the mid 50s for Portland, almost 60 degrees out towards Salem. Eugene Lane County, they said, let's go ahead and give ourselves that 60 degree temperature. A far cry from Portland's average daytime high of about 49. And we can thank those atmospheric rivers for helping to not only push in some tropical moisture, which we're picking up on moving through parts of the Portland area right now, but also the tropical like temperatures as that cloud coverage and the rain potential really starts to ramp up through the rest of this evening. But just a beautiful satellite imagery out over the Pacific Ocean, almost looking like a cinnamon roll here. There's the center of low pressure as the atmospheric river flows all of its moisture back up into our area and that's where the bullseye for tomorrow morning is going to be in the southern coast of Oregon and as we move through the day the brunt of the moisture is going to start to slide down so those yellows and oranges all impactful for us here along western Oregon and Washington. Now this is coming off the heels of a very soggy month of January for us. We are sitting above average for the month so far by more than four and a half inches. So how does that shake out in comparison to January's in the past? Well, the greatest amount of moisture that we've managed to see was over 12 inches. That was back in 1953. So this year so far with almost nine and a half inches of precipitation out at the airport, that marks January 2024 as the seventh wettest. And that is all thanks to El Nino that continues to flow the moisture into our area and keep those atmospheric rivers taking aim at much of the West Coast. So good for us as our temperatures continue to sit on the comfortable side in the 50s by tomorrow afternoon evening, slowly starting to dry us out once more as we see the rain chance ramp up once again for the northern Willamette Valley, including the Portland metro area for the start of the day on Thursday. It will be another wet commute for you, but by the time we get to the afternoon hours, maybe for lunchtime, your commute home picking up on just a stray rain drop or two as our rain gauges start to fill back up close to about a half inch or so by the time we get to Thursday evening, just about the same out along the coast. But we would like to see these temperatures of almost 50 degrees in government camp to come down. That would help to drop the snow elevation level, which we're expecting to see it do just that by the time it gets Thursday, Friday, falling back to about 3,500 feet. So we'll start to see the base snow levels start to climb once again after a big meltdown over the past few days. So so here's what's on tap for tomorrow. 50s for us out along the coast. Heavy rain showers for the morning. Just about the same for the I-5 quarter, even reflective of our warmer than normal temperatures as Portland expects to climb up to about 57 degrees east of the Cascades. Also expecting to see those temperatures anywhere from the upper 40s to the low to mid 50s and that snow elevation level right around 6,000 feet as that moisture moves over shore. Seven day forecast. We enter into a brand new month come Thursday, February. Hard to believe it's already here or maybe just in time ending this wild January where we get to see some sunshine by Saturday. And that's where temperatures are going to hold steady in the low 50s before lower snow elevations, normal temperatures in the upper 40s are expected by the start of next week. Yeah, and we keep saying this is kind of the, the most consistent weather we've had in a week because we've been so up and down. Uh, yeah, and, and not even in a week. In the past month or so, yeah. it's been so turbulent. So good to uh, see it stabilize. All right, thanks, Josh. Yeah. Coming up, 